What's up, YouTube? Sleek Reacts, and I'm back. If you're wondering where I've been, go ahead and check out the most recent video that I put out, and that explains where I've been and everything that's been going on. But um, yeah, I figured today let's let's react to something. So I figured we could do disturbing things disturbing things around the internet volume one now th i think this is from let me double check this is a video that nexpo put out so um credit to nexpo for making the video and yeah let's let's react to it and if you guys uh have any questions just leave comments down in the video and i'll answer any questions that you guys might have and uh yeah let's get into it This type of stuff really scares me, like disturbing things like the Internet, especially because the Internet is such a mysterious place. Like. You never know what you might run into on the Internet, like crazy people, murderers. So. Let's see. Back in November, I mentioned that I was discontinuing my unnerving YouTube channels and unnerving YouTube videos mini series to a mixed response. I told you guys not to worry, and that's because what you're about to watch is its direct and far improved replacement. Welcome to episode one of Disturbing Things from Around the Internet. This is essentially a one-stop shop for creepy finds that I might have stumbled upon recently while browsing online. We'll dive into not only creepy things from YouTube, but from all over the net as well. Today. We're going to dive into five hand-picked and disturbing finds from the internet. The recent Hawaii missile scare is one of the most unsettling real-life occurrences to happen in a long time. Back in my unnerving YouTube videos series, I included an entry about an emergency alert and how disturbing they sound. This is essentially that, but this time, it was for real. Hawaii's residents went into a state of panic following this broadcast, and there were all sorts of goodbyes being given due to the anticipation of all of their lives possibly being wiped out as time ticks closer and closer to the missile's estimated time of arrival, which was said to be just minutes from when the alert went live. Fortunately, this entire fiasco merely turned out to be a false alarm. The footage that residents took during the situation, however, is entirely disturbing. Take a look at some of it. ...threat to Hawaii. A missile may impact on land or sea within minutes. This is not a drill. Oh, If you are no. indoors, stay indoors. If you are outdoors, seek immediate shelter in a building. What? How would you feel if you're driving down the road and you heard that? I would be freaking, I would freak out. Like, this is already getting my, like, my blood pressure, like, up. If you're watching this video, that means I didn't make it. Because of the missile that's coming towards Hawaii. I just parted the last hole, and I just hit this out of my ball. So, I love you all, but I'm playing golf. It's the last thing I'm going to do. A missile may impact on land or sea within minutes. This is not a drill. Oh, my God. If you are indoors, stay indoors. If you are outdoors, seek immediate shelter in a building. Remain indoors well away from windows. If you are driving, pull safely to the side of the road and seek shelter in a building or lay on the floor. We will announce when the threat has ended. This is not... The sh That's crazy. This is crazy. Oh my god. The sheer terror that comes with an emergency alert 
coupled with the idea that these residents believed that they only had a few more minutes to live, really puts things into perspective here. Hawaii is such an isolated state, and if there ever truly were an event like this that were to happen, these people would have absolutely nowhere to go. Tornado house. This YouTube video showed up in my recommended feed a few months back, and I've seen it a couple of times since then. It involves a family's venture as a tornado rips through their house. It opens with the husband filming a tornado a short distance away, and after a few seconds, it's evident that the storm is moving straight towards them. He then proceeds with his wife to the closet under the stairs, and the terror that follows is much, much more real than anything out of a horror movie. Look at this. I hate tornadoes. I hate tornadoes. They scare the shit out of me. Holy moly. All right. Holy shit. Run. All right, I gotta go. Right, you gotta go. What are you doing just standing there filming a tornado? Like, go take shelter. What is this guy? What do people... Hmm. Dude. Dude, people will do anything to get get the video. It's crazy. I'm coming, honey. Shit, where you at, hon? God damn, it's bad. Oh my god! Oh my god! Our house is freaking destroyed, Josie! Oh my god! Dude, Where's no. Otto? Oh. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, shit. At least you're alive. The way that they kept their composure after an event like that is absolutely mind-boggling, and if that were me, I don't think I'd be able to stay that calm. The right? sounds of the tornado alone are enough to put a horrific image into our minds, and the aftermath of their home is nothing short of grim and depressing. This video isn't anything like a movie, it's genuine and unfiltered, and I can only hope that this family is successfully recovered. No matter what kind of storm it is, this really is something that can happen to any of us at any time. This is another Facebook post that went live on October 3rd. A user by the name of Terry made a post asking people if they heard the eerie radio broadcast that went live on nearly every station in Louisiana. She claimed that she couldn't find anything on the news regarding the matter, and that after reaching out to other individuals who posted videos of the same thing, determined that this was happening all over the U.S. This is what they heard. Somebody's trolling the radio. No way. That's that's got to be someone trolling. <coughs> hmm.
They're not trolling aliens. <laughs> now, it sounds like a distorted voice naming off states, and hearing it obviously raises alarm. Allegedly, according to radio broadcast stations, this was an emergency alert test that was sent out, and apparently this happens all the time. The stations claim that it's due to a difference in sampling rate from the raw broadcast to the radio station. If they're out of sync, it causes creepy distortion like you just heard. This is, of course, what the radio stations claim. What was actually being broadcasted, however, is to be determined. Fun time kid scare? This was a very interesting thing to follow. Back in 2015, a Reddit post was made in the conspiracy subreddit by a user claiming that they lived very close to a supposed daycare that had an extremely strange look to it, and in all five years of them living there, have never seen a kid arrive or leave. As expected, this struck interest in Redditors and people started throwing in suggestions for what it could be. Some claimed that it could be a money laundering center, while others suggested that it could be used for child trafficking. There was also, of course, a group that believed that this was simply a real daycare and that there's nothing more to see. Things got interesting though when one user named Deathship commented this. I'm going to advise you guys to stop looking into this place. This just drove the interest in the building up even more. After someone's trolling. After looking into Deathship's background, they came to the consensus that he's potentially just a troll trying to scare people. However, that doesn't discount the other comments left by users claiming the same thing that the original poster did. That they live in the area and have never seen a kid come in or out in years. They also went to the Funtime Kids Care website and described it as being super sketchy and plain, with a bunch of stock images and a phone number. When people decided to call it, they were either sent a voicemail or a lady would answer in a very eerie tone before hanging up on them. One other user claimed that it's indeed a real daycare and that they used to be a mail carrier for that neighborhood. However, one part of their response was a little strange. They said that it is in fact full of kids, but every single time that they deliver mail, no matter the time of day, it would always be nap time. Pretty strange stuff, but that's not even the end of it. People took see stuff about children being abducted and child trafficking and stuff that scares the hell out of me because i'm a father right and not only am i a parent but i'm a parent to two daughters and which for me as a father that tells me that i have to be on high alert for my daughters for the rest of my life. Be different. If I had sons. But. I have to. Stay on top of. Where my daughters. Are at all times. Basically until the day I die. Because my biggest fear. Is my daughters. Being kidnapped and trafficked. I can't imagine. I can't imagine how that feels. Like even just thinking about it, it it was like ripping my my heart out. And my heart goes out to any parents out there that has had this happen to them. Um Some pe people are just sick. People are sick. But. Let's continue. But that's not even the end of it. People took to Google Maps Street View to check out the place. And they determined that the windows to the daycare have been covered up for years. And have hardly ever changed. One of the few instances of somebody being outside of the building. Is one snapshot that a user caught where someone is out in the backyard. For some reason or another. This led to even more speculation, prompting people to check out the place in person, which quickly became a large problem. 
One Redditor claimed that they traveled to visit the daycare, and at night, when they got a glimpse inside, they saw nothing but a chair aimed at a TV, showing surveillance footage of another room. Of course, many, many other people visited the daycare, even during, quote, operating hours, to try to get a peek into their windows. They okay, but like, why hasn't this building been raided by the police? Why hasn't... Well, maybe it has. I haven't gotten that far yet, but... Why hasn't there been an investigation done? You would think, like, if people are complaining around the neighborhood that there's some creepy building and there's creepy things happening there, or that there's suspicion of something, a crime being committed in that building, you would think, like, the building would be, the building would be, uh, raided, right? This led to another large issue in itself regarding grown adults trespassing on a private property to peek into a window of a supposed daycare with supposed children. People even began taking photos of the few children that they saw outside the place. This inevitably led to an even larger issue, so police began to monitor the place and Redditors were urged to stay away. One person managed to get pictures of the inside, and it seemed pretty ordinary. After doing even more digging on the place, Redditors dug up the owner's name, and it's rumored that the building owner purchased the daycare for his mother to give her something to do with her time. Allegedly, she's been running the daycare for years, even though they have multiple violations on their state record. This is, of course, speculation and determinations from Reddit, so take these with a grain of salt. All in all, the general consensus is that this is indeed a normal daycare. A strange eerie and creepy one, but a daycare nonetheless. Yeah. We just dove into five disturbing things <laughs> from around the internet. I hope you guys enjoyed the concept of this, and if you have anything that you'd like me to look into, no matter what it is, for a future installment, please do let me know. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, I love you all, and good night. Okay, yeah, that was definitely disturbing. Um, God, that last one really is just like, it's so scary. <laughs> I want to look into that building more. I want to, I want to see if anything ever transpired with that. But um, wow, scary stuff. Anyway, um. Oops. If you guys enjoyed the video, please smash that like button, hit that notification bell icon, and make sure that you hit all instead of personalized so you're notified whenever I release a new video. And join the like join the channel, sub to the channel because I got more videos like this coming. And let me know down in the comment section if you like me reacting not only to just music, but to videos like this. And uh yeah, guys, like I said, if you want to know where I've been, why I haven't uploaded in a long time, check out the video before this one, and it'll let you know. Uh, love you guys, and I, I appreciate all the support, and I'll catch you guys hmm, in a couple of days. Catch you in the next one. Peace.